Guys, I just got these carbon fiber finishers for the exhaust tips. Look at these carbon fiber weaves. You know, go zoom in. Zoom in with the, the lens. Mm. So the weaves are actually really nice. This is super light. As far as rigidity, it's flexible. And um, flexible is actually good because I, I don't want it to be cracking or anything. So it being kind of flexible is dope. You can see the adhesive on the inside. I might have to put my own 3M just because I want to make sure it's absolutely in. But we'll actually, I'll just leave it on. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna send it like this. The reason why, I'll come close then, is with like a setup like this, um, you can see my Varus diffuser carbon fibered out, carbon fibered out. This part is not carbon fibered out. And I just want to complete the look. To install, it's actually really easy. This is some, just some multi-purpose multi cleaner. And you just want to wipe the area where you're going to apply the adhesive because of course, if you're going to apply it to super dusty, dirty, it's not going to adhere well. So you just want to make sure the exhaust tips. Okay. So I usually swipe it with the wet side and then the dry side of the towel. Let that dry a little bit. Same with here. It is so fresh and so clean. So this is a Varus diffuser. It's one of my favorite parts. Probably my, my favorite diffuser for this car. Uh, this is the only diffuser that actually kind of, uh, that it's made out of carbon fiber that wraps up like this and um, kind of flows with the body well, not like made for another car. Um, some companies are starting to replicate it, like VIS. But you know, what are you gonna do? Reps will be repping. All right, so there's two ways you can do this. I'm gonna take the bottom pieces off of the, um, you know, the sticky tape, double-sized sticky tape. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the main sticky tape untouched, or well, just partially. That's what a lot of people do. It just helps with the fitment. So what I mean by that is you kind of go like this, and then you kind of leave it hanging like this. So you can like move the piece around. Oh, this one's actually for the uh, for the right one. Pieces around. But because this is actually pretty easy, I recommend just taking it all out. Yeah, and that way you can just squeeze it in. For uh, double-sided adhesive tape, you want to hold it down for at least 15 seconds. And uh, these are Q300 tips. Plenty of clearance. It actually doesn't add any kind of additional, like maybe like a micrometer, but it doesn't really add any clearance issues on these exhaust tips. As far as, uh, if you want to show them right here, like right here with the, these are JDM splash guards. Plenty of clearance right here. So uh, I know the APR ones are a little bit bigger and a lot thicker. I'm gonna have issues running into this, but for our, the reason why I got this is because it fits nice and good. And you just repeat the step on the other side. All right, there you go. Nice tips. Look at it. Mm. The weave is amazingly good. It's like a two by two. S slightly different than the Varus two by two. Let's see right here. And of course my Barris diffuser is a little bit dirtier because I haven't washed the car. Same with my Q300 tips. But once everything's gonna be washed, it's gonna look great. Same goes with this one. The fitment is amazingly good, for, especially for the fit. You don't really expect that. But yeah, links below on where you can get something like this. Subi Speed sells it for um, a lot more, I believe. So. Check out the link I want to provide for um, a better price. See, that's kind of like the look I wanted. I know my diffuser is not very clean right now. It's kind of more of a faded white color, but it gives it that finished look. Yep, peace out.